Yo, what is up guys? So, we got some more spoilers today. Uh, a lot of interesting things. Um, one thing we were waiting for and a few things we weren't quite expecting. So, we're going to start with a new Elichick. So, Elichick is now a 4-1 as it was for 1 Thunder. But now it's when you normal cast as Elichick, you can search your deck for a Divine Rune and add it to your hand. So, you can go get your Zeus. You can go get your Aeolus. You can go get your Fesses. I think it makes it a little bit of an interesting combo piece. Like, I might run this in, like, uh, the Ketchup Mustard Control thing to get out, like, Hephaestus faster. So I can get the Hammer out faster to make that more consistent. But Elichick is basically really, really good right now. Because, okay, again, you can search out Divine Room. And that Divine Room can either be Hephaestus... Zeus, Demeter, Aeolus, or Poseidon. But you can just go find Hephaestus or Zeus. Or not the Zeus. Hephaestus or Aeolus. And then use those to find an artifact. Or find another Elestral. Like, it's a little bit of like a two-step process. But you can find most card types, in a sense, with this card in play now. You just can't find a Counter Rune or an Invoke Rune. But you can find all the other card types through shenanigans with this card which makes it really good even if you're not going for like the elechic divine rune into the next card plan elechic's a good card i think it really stands on its own now compared to what it used to do which was just a worse aeolus now it's like i'm gonna go get aeolus but the next card in its essential line is griffuse and it's a 5-3 thunder wind you can nexus one spirit from a divine rune on your field if you do, you can special send Griffuse to Voltemis from your hand or deck. So you just go find your Aeolus or your Zeus or really anything and then go rip the, play it, rip the spirit off of it next turn with Griffuse and go straight into Voltempest. 5-3 uh, stats, kind of mediocre, but if you're playing this, it is not staying on the board any longer than it needs to, which is less than a turn. You're going to play it, you're going to Nexus, and you're going to go right to Vault Tempest. So we're not going to spend too much time on here, because if you're playing this card as a 5-3, you're doing it wrong. It's bad that way. But going into Vault Tempest right away, fantastic. I mean, look at that. 13-10. Two Thunder and a Wind. You can disenchant a Thunder or a Wind from this Vault Tempest. If you do, your opponent must expend three Spirits. If Zeus is enchanted, it cannot be targeted by opponent's card's effects. Now, it's still weak to Shield of Achilles, as most of the 3-drops are, which is fair. But it also doesn't need to attack to do damage. You can just disenchant. And if you're going with a special uh, cast from Griffuse, you generally will have 4 elements on it. And hopefully you're running just Thunder and Wind, and those only elements on it are Thunder and Wind. So you can just disenchant it right away to hit for 3. Maybe don't attack, keep it up, enchant it next turn. Expend again for another three. It's basically just allowing you to kind of eruption every turn. Kind of how Krakatuga works, but with a much bigger body than Krakatuga. So I think Voltemp is going to see a lot of play just because it's a three drop that doesn't need to attack to do a lot of damage. Uh, and you can, if you can Nexus more cards to it, it's going to do even more damage. Um, granted, you can only use ability once a turn, but if you can just every turn Nexus cards and play cards next to it and stuff, like, it'll be pretty, pretty disruptive to your opponent. They're going to need to get rid of it right away, which will be difficult, because if you search the Zeus with your Griffuse, well, then you can't just Earthquake, Boom Bat, Kinley or this thing. You have to shield it, and it doesn't need to attack. So I think it's a very good card. I might even attempt to play it in like an aggro I don't know but it's very good you don't even need to attack with it it's it's great it just sticks in the board it says I'm a 13 attack come at me bro and take three take three take three take three <laughs> uh so that's the end of the Voltemus line and then the last card that Dan showed is only in Discord not on YouTube or anything yet is Javlantis so Javlantis here is uh six three for two and if it destroys an opponent's defense position Elestral in battle, your opponent must expend three. That's okay. 
So the reason I say it's okay, it's got six attack. Six attack is pretty mediocre for a two drop. Like that's on the low end for two drops. Granted, there's some two drops with five attack, but they're not supposed to stick around. Six attack is on the low end. But if it does destroy something in defense position, you're doing basically piercing damage, which is on theme, I guess, with the, the spear. So it does do a lot of damage. If you can keep Tsunami in play every single turn and make sure your opponent's not playing a defensive deck because all of a sudden your opponent's not playing water and their one drop with Station doesn't even get touched by Javalantis. That's the risk you run. But if you can make Javalantis pop off, like if we get some more, uh, you know, manipulation, like right now we have Tsunami, we have Sorlet. We have Tsunami, we have Sorlet. I think that's it for defense manipulation. We can, you know, hit something really hard when they expect it to be in defense position too. Like, I don't know. It's an okay card. I think if we get some more, you know, attack defense swapping, we can make it work. It's definitely a fun card, and it's definitely a card that can kind of come out of nowhere to blow your opponent out if they're not expecting it. Like, if your opponent's going on the defense to try to set something up, you're just like... All right, Javlantis, maybe pump Javlantis and hit you for three directly without you even realizing it. I don't know. That's not a right card. Nothing blowing me out of the water, pun not intended, but it's a fun card. It's definitely a card that you can try and build around with Rotakwa. Just a, you know, a defense manipulation thing with Rotakwa, Javlantis, Sorlet, Tsunami. See what else you can throw in the deck to try to make it work. But yeah, that, that's it for today. It's just those four cards. Some interesting cards nonetheless but that's not that's about it so uh i appreciate guys if you drop a like and subscribe i've been really appreciating all the support please go check out all the other content creators check out the discord come join us we're having a great time we're playing games um uh, i believe the tournament for prototype decks is coming up soonish hopefully um and it'll be fun uh, i don't know if i'll get a chance to play because i have a lot of work but yeah, other than that, I appreciate the support you guys give me, and you guys all have a great day. And remember, subscribing is free! Right? Just clickety, 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 clackety. Have a good one. Peace.